Chris Trotter published a scathing attack on a group of Labour MPs in today's ODT, calling them a pack of angry attack dogs. He implied a group of Labour MPs were berating members of the party who were not being faithful to the current leader, David Shearer. To fill in the gaps and explain what's been going on and to tell us about the Youth Parliament is Labour's MP for Dunedin South, Claire Curran. Good evening, Claire. Good evening. Now, you've been referred to as a grim lieutenant in today's ODT and part of a group of angry attack dogs. What's your response to that? Well, I've known Chris Trotter for quite a long time and I think he's a great writer. Uh, I think he might be um, better at writing fiction these days. Uh, and, but I think he's also a bit like a dog with a bone and he, he tends to live in the past a bit in his writing and uh, he also has, hasn't been a member of the Labour Party for a very long time but he likes to give us the benefit of his very strong views. So I guess that's what I've got to say. I mean, um, you know, I, that's not the way um, I, I saw it and, uh, you know, we had a great conference last November and we've, we're a united party moving forward. Mm. Now, on a lighter note, what is Youth Parliament? Well, Youth Parliament um, is an amazing opportunity for young people across the country between age between 16 and 18 at school to be, a, be a, actually be an MP for um, a few months and actually get to go to Parliament. Every high school around the country and certainly all the Dunedin high schools have got the opportunity to um, put an entry in to see if they can become the youth, P, youth MP for each electorate for, um, for 2013. So myself and David Clark and also David Parker, the Labour MPs in the city, we're running a video competition which um, up until I think the entries have to be in um, on the 18th of March and a two minute video um, on your 2020 vision for Dunedin, how you'd like Dunedin to look in 2020 and, um, and then the best ones out of that are going to have a speech competition and, and we'll choose an MP each and they get to go to Parliament later this year. How did you get involved in this initiative? Well, it's something that's been around for quite a while. Uh, every, it's once every three years and it's a week in Parliament essentially for young people and uh, they get the opportunity to debate issues and pretend to be MPs for a week. This year they're going to be debating um, uh, the reducing the voting age from 18 to 17, electronic voting, compulsory voting and extending the term of parliament from three years to four years. So they get the opportunity to give speeches, have question time, be on select committees and all of those sorts of things. So I really urge um, any student at any of our high schools to think about putting in an entry. Why do you think it's a good idea for the youths to be involved in youth great. parliament? Great. Well, it's a great confidence booster uh, and it's an opportunity for, if you feel really passionate about uh, issues to actually get the chance to stand up and be heard. And when they come back to Dunedin after the experience, they get to be, be a representative for the area for the rest of the year on issues affecting young people. Mm. Oh, how can they enter? Well, they can contact um, my office or David Clark's office uh, and or ask their school principal because all the school principals have been written to about this and, um, and they better get in quick because it's, it's only got a couple of weeks to produce that video. Two minutes is all it's needed and uh, it's a really great opportunity. Dunedin South Labour MP Claire Curran, thanks very much for your time.